Hi guys, this is Naeem. Today I'm really excited to review some of the best phones that are on the market right now. You've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max and you've got the Samsung Note 10 Plus. Both phones are premium, they're expensive, but they do pack a punch and the truth is they're not the same. So let's begin. So different reviewers go into different detail as to how well these phones perform in different categories. So I'm going to go really quick and really brief to save you your time. First thing when it comes to the screen department, the Note 10 Plus is the best. The Note 10 Plus has not just a better screen than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but probably the best screen in the market. It's gorgeous. It's got the OLED Quad HD panel. Yes, that does drain battery, which is another issue, but it looks so good. It looks like a sticker. It doesn't even look like a real phone uh, screen sometimes. It's amazing. The iPhone 11 Pro Max screen, it's a Quad HD uh, OLED panel if I'm not wrong, but the fact is it's not got the same oomph power as the Note 10 Plus screen. Although it is sufficient and it's most definitely more than sharp enough. When you compare the iPhone 11 Pro Max to a normal iPhone 11, you will see the difference because the iPhone 11 doesn't have a Quad HD screen like this one. Okay, here's what you need to know. Both phones are super duper fast and that's pretty incredible when you consider the fact that the iPhone 11 Pro Max only has 4 gig of RAM which is incredibly low compared to the 12 gigs of RAM on the Note 10 Plus. Perhaps it might be that most users, they're not even going to test the Note 10 Plus to its capacity. Nevertheless, they're both really really smooth and they're both super fast. If you want to open any app on the iPhone 11 or the Note 10 Plus, there's very minimal delay and this is a very big leap forward compared to phones just from 3-4 years ago. However, I have noticed sometimes it does feel like the Note 10 Plus might lag slightly compared to the iPhone which is quite extraordinary considering the RAM. It's not really an issue and you can't really decipher between both of them when it comes to speed. So when it comes to the camera department, there's a clear winner and that's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's break it down. When it comes to photos, you won't see a huge distinction between the two. They both take amazing photos. They're both very sharp. They have ultra wide cameras. Uh, they're very versatile. They're very quick to take photos. They're both really good and they're very vibrant too. However, when it comes to videos, you will see a very clear distinction. The videos on the iPhone 11 Pro Max are much better than the videos taken on the Note 10 Plus. Why is that? Firstly, let's talk about stabilization. To be honest, the stabilization on all iPhone 11 series phones are the best in the business. They're so smooth, they're very reliable, they're like, they're like a gimbal, they're amazing. However, the stabilization on the Note 10 Plus and other Android phones, unfortunately, they're not as good. Firstly, you'll notice that they're very warpy, jittery, and yes, if you do use the main telephoto lens, you might see an improvement over the action camera lens, but it's not on par with the iPhone's lenses. Also, the Note 10 Plus, to my surprise, does not shoot 4K 60p on the action camera lens, and that's kind of annoying because the action camera lens gives such a wide field of view, it's a really cool lens, and it doesn't shoot 4K 60fps, but still for the general user, it's good enough. Let's talk about battery. Now, the winner is clear. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has some of the best batteries in the whole market. It's amazing. This is two-day battery. The battery life on the 11 Pro Max, I think, is better than Huawei phones. It's, it's really good. Consistent two-day battery life. You can charge it one morning and it'll have charged the day after tomorrow. Amazing. However, the Note 10 Plus, it's still good. The truth is, because it's such a premium phone, you would expect a better battery life from the Note 10 Plus, but a lot of things compensate for that premium price. And unfortunately, yes, it's going to last you a full day, and if you do use some power saving modes, you can squeeze out two day battery life from the Note 10 Plus, but it's not on par with the iPhone 11. Now, let's talk about the last thing price and why this is a deal breaker between these two phones. Currently, the Note 10 Plus is an absolute bargain in its range. You're going to find that. The Note 10 Plus right now is cheaper than the 11 Pro Max and that's that's a deal breaker because you're getting so much value for this phone, so much value. On many contract deals, if you take into account a 10 to 15 to 20 pound difference between these two phones, it's exponentially better in value. The last thing I want to talk about is gaming. You may find that games on the 11 Pro Max are actually better to play on than the Note 10 Plus. That's because software on Apple devices tend to be much more optimised. On the Note 10 Plus we might find that the games have more adjustable settings even though they might be less optimised so this means you can do more tweaking and you can get the best performance for the game. So to conclude, which phone should you take? Well, 
let's make it clear when it comes to the general user general usability smoothness of a phone the 11 pro max honestly i think is a better phone yes it's not got as a gorgeous screen as the note 10 plus but still it's such a nice smooth convenient uh, user experience the 4 gig ram for some reason it doesn't make a difference when it comes to opening apps quickly running multiple apps it's still a great phone and as i mentioned the camera is superb the note 10 plus however is probably a better phone for the power hungry user you still do have a good camera on the note 10 plus and overall it is the better phone from a more advanced to user sense someone who's more nitpicky on the tiny details finally to conclude if you take into account the price packet difference and you are a more concerned user of a small specs, the Note 10 Plus is the phone to go. However, if you're the general user, you just want the best smooth and hi-fi experience, the 11 Pro Max might be the better phone for you if you ignore the price increment.